On top of old Sparky, all covered in snow, I lost my true lover for courting too slow. For courting's a pleasure, and parting's a grief, and a false hearted lover is worse than a thief. You know, Miss Daddio, we've been singing this song together since we were at Spring Break Music Camp, and I don't even know what the words mean. Me either. Why are we singing it? I have no clue, but you know what? Mm. I know a song that's exactly the same, but it's about meatballs instead. Meatballs? Yeah, meatballs. Like meatballs that go on top of spaghetti? Oh, yeah, meatballs that go on top of spaghetti. Oh, well, could you teach it to me? Of course. You know what, though? We have to take a little trip to learn this song. What, where are we going? Well, of course, where meatballs originated from... Italy! Ciao, amici! Or as you Americans say... I am ready to learn the song about the meatballs that you talk about. Oh, the meatballs! The meatballs on top of the mountain or something? Oh no, it's the meatballs on top of the spaghetti. The spaghetti. But before we sing, we always must warm up our voices. See, si. Do you think we can warm up with some spaghetti? Oh, I love it! I have a piece of spaghetti on my cutting board. We are going to follow the line of the spaghetti with our voices. Okay. If the noodle is high, your voice is high. If the noodle is low, your voice is very low. You ready? I am ready. Are you ready for the spaghetti? Here we go. My turn first. Ooh. Nice job. Let's make another shape with our wet noodle. Very good. Let's make a new one. How about with a loop? Fancy. Let's do another one that goes very low. Okay. We'll do one more. One more, okay. It starts high, it goes low, it goes high. Okay, I am ready. Here we go. So now you need to go and practice with some of your spaghetti at home, but make sure you cook it first or your warm-up will be very boring. We are going to learn the meat of all song now. It's called On Top of Spaghetti. So I am going to sing first with Miss Heidemann, and you can listen, and then we will learn it line by line after. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. Good job. Let's go line by line. I sing first and you repeat with Miss Heidemann. We are ready. We are ready. Say that with us. We, we are, are ready. ready. All right. On top of spaghetti. On top of spaghetti. All covered with cheese. All covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. When somebody sneezed. Very good. Let's make them longer now. 
Me up first, you and Miss Heidemann second. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. Our turn. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. Let's do it all together. I'm ready. All right, let's get some uh, tunes going. Here we go, on top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. Very good. So what is going to happen is that is the chorus of the song. So I am going to sing a verse and then we are all going to sing that chorus. And you will know when to go. But that's how it starts. So are you all ready? Ready. Here we go. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. Achoo! Are you okay, Miss oh. Dario? It 
then. We are going to sing another song. Another song? See, si. What's it about? Oh, it's about another one of my favorite Italian foods. Is it about the uh, American cheeseburger? <laughs> that is not Italian. Is it about the uh, ice cream? Oh, that's called gelato here. But gelato. no, it's not about the gelato. What is it about? It's about pizza. Pizza. I love a pizza. Oh, me too. What is your favorite pizza topping? My favorite pizza topping would be gummy worms. That is not a pizza topping. Well, why not? I can make a pizza out of anything I want to make a pizza out of. I guess. But what is your favorite savory pizza topping? I'd have to say um, pepperoni. Oh, my favorite is a meatball. Makes a sense. So from the meatball tree. <laughs> See. Si. All righty. So we are going to do an echo or a repeat after me song. Do you know what that means? An echo or repeat after me? I'm not quite sure. All righty. So what is going to happen is I am going to say something first. And then you are going to echo or repeat what I say. Got it. Let's try a couple Italian words. I'm ready. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Pizza. Pizza. Gelato. Gelato. Mmm. Alrighty. That is how it goes. I said the word first, and then you repeat. That is what a repeat after me song or an echo song is like. Are you ready for this uh, repeat after me song now? I'm ready to repeat after you. Oh, good. Here we go. Sauce. Sauce. Sauce cheese. Sauce cheese. Anchovies. Anchovies. Pizza. Pizza. Eat a lot, of, eat a lot, of, eat a lot of pizza. Eat a lot, of, eat a lot, of, eat a lot of pizza. Oh no, don't drop the pizza. Oh no, don't drop the pizza. If you drop the pizza, nobody eats. If you drop the pizza, nobody eats. Pizza and coke, scrum delicious. Pizza and coke, scrum delicious. Gobble, 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 gobble. Mm. Gobble, 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 gobble. Mm. That's a good song, right? I love that song. It sounds very familiar. I don't know why. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. But let's uh, let's uh, change the tempo or the speed S of, of the music. Song. Speed of the song. All right. Are you ready? I I'm think ready. we should do a faster tempo. Would you like me to keep the beat for you? I would love if you could keep the beat for How me. How about I keep the beat for you on... This pizza box. <laughs> I love it. And my big Italian wooden spoon with the music note at it. Perfect. Sauce. Sauce. Sauce cheese. Sauce cheese. Anchovies. Anchovies. A pizza. Pizza. Eat a lot, of, eat a lot, of, eat a lot of pizza. Eat a lot, of, eat a lot, of, eat a lot of pizza. Oh no, don't drop the pizza. Oh no, don't drop the pizza. If you drop the pizza, nobody eats. If you drop the pizza, nobody eats. Pizza and coke, scrum delicious. Pizza and coke, scrum delicious. Gobble, 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 gobble. Mm. Gobble, 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 gobble. Mm. I think we can do it even faster. A faster tempo. A faster tempo. Sauce, sauce, sauce cheese, sauce cheese, anchovies, anchovies, pizza, pizza. Eat a lot, of, eat a lot, of, eat a lot of pizza. Eat a lot, of, eat a lot, of, eat a lot of pizza. Oh no, don't drop the pizza. Oh no, don't drop the pizza. If you drop the pizza, nobody eats. If you drop the pizza, nobody eats. Pizza and coke, scrum delicious. Pizza and coke, scrum delicious. Gobble, 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 gobble. Mm. Gobble, 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 gobble. Mm. Very good. I think we need to do it very slow we'll now. Slow down. Andante. That means very slow. Or legato. Legato. Which is smooth. Smooth and flowing. And then andante means very slow. Would you say this is an andante tempo? Oh, I think so. I'm ready. Okay. Sauce. Sauce cheese. Sauce cheese. Anchovies. Anchovies. Pizza. Pizza. Eat a lot of, eat a lot of, eat a lot of pizza.
pizza. Eat a lot, eat a lot, eat a lot of pizza. Oh no, don't drop the pizza. Oh no, don't drop the pizza. If you drop the pizza, nobody eats. If you drop the pizza, nobody eats. Pizza and coke are scrum delicious. Pizza and coke are scrum delicious. Gobble, 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 mmm. Gobble, 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 mmm. I think we need to do it at the normal tempo. Normal tempo coming right up. Here we go. Here we go. <gasps> Sauce. Sauce cheese, sauce cheese, anchovies, anchovies, pizza, pizza. Eat a lot of, eat a lot of, eat a lot of pizza. Eat a lot of, eat a lot of, eat a lot of pizza. Oh no, don't drop the pizza. Oh no, don't drop the pizza. If you drop pizza, nobody eats a. If you drop the pizza, nobody eats a. Pizza and coke, scrum delicious. Pizza and coke, scrum delicious. Gobble, 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 gobble. Mm. Gobble, 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 gobble. Mmm, Miss Daddy, oh, I am so hungry. Oh, me too. And you know what this song got me in the mood for? Meatballs? No, the meatballs! Italian <laughs> cheeseburger? <laughs> Not an Italian cheeseburger. American <laughs> cheeseburger? No! Well, tell me, woman, what do you want to eat? Pizza! Pizza! Let's get some pizza! Oh. oh, okay. Now I think it is a time to do some uh, rhythm reading. Are we going to be able to read the rhythms here while we are in Italy? You know, that is a great question. And it is so beautiful that music is a universal language. So no matter where you go, Everyone can understand it. That's so beautiful. I love it. I'm ready to read. Great, but you need uh, you need something to keep the rhythm with, to play the rhythms with. How about my pizza box? I love it. And my wooden spoon. Perfect. All right, here is our first rhythm. A one, a two, a ready, go. Two, do. Do they do? Great job! One, two, ready, go! Do they do? Do they do? Perfect! One, two, ready, go! Do they do? They do! Oh, amazing! One, two, ready, go! Do, do, do! Great job! One, two, ready, go! Do, do they do? Last one, here we go now. Do, do, do. Perfect. Miss Daddy, I want to talk about these rhythms. Okay. We've been reading rhythms for quite some time now, and I want to talk about their beats and how long they are, and I thought maybe we could do that with the pizza. I love it. I will show you what I mean. I have made this drawing here. And I have many different types of notes here. The first type of note I have is this one in the middle. And it is called a whole note. And if I ate the whole pizza. That is a lot of pizza. I'm hungry. Okay. If I ate the whole pizza, that would be a whole note. And a whole note gets four beats, which is why there is a four in the middle. That and it makes looks... Sense like this in music and it sounds like this <gasps> Do now let's say i was not uh, so hungry and i only wanted to eat half of the pizza because you know miss dad yo, i really should not be eating a whole pizza in this quarantine i i totally agree i'm getting a little hunk of choco if you know what i mean <laughs> oh Ms. Daddy i do if i were to eat only half of the pizza that would give me a half note, which is why there is a two in the middle, because half of the whole note, half of four is, obviously, two. Two. And it gets two beats, and it looks like this. And it sounds like this. Do. Now, 
If I was only a little bit hungry, maybe for my midnight snack, because at dinner time I only ate half of the pizza and I know that was not enough for me. So now I need a midnight snack. Okay. If I wanted just a quarter of the pizza, one little chunk of the pizza, I would have this note, which is a quarter note, which looks like this. And it sounds like this. <gasps> Do. Now. This is where things get a little tricky. Oh no. Let's say I only want one slice of pizza. I have this type of note, which looks very fancy and it has a fancy mustache like me and oh, you. Oh, good, I love it. This type of note is called an eighth note and it gets half of a beat. Half of a beat? Half of a beat. How does that work? Well, if I put a half and a half together to make one whole beat, it will look like this which we have seen this many times before, and of course we know that this sounds like do day. Now, if I took this do day and I chopped it in half with my chef's knife, it would turn into this, which is half of a beat. So a half plus a half equals one beat. So this is a half of a beat, but if I have two, it makes one whole beat. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. see. Very good. All righty. I hope that you know how many beats everything has now. Let's review. All right. One whole pizza will equal what? A whole note. Half of the pizza will equal what? A half a note. A quarter of the pizza will equal what? A quarter note. And one slice of pizza will equal what? An eighth note. Couldn't that be called an eighth of a pizza? It could be called an eighth of a pizza. If it, a pizza was sliced in eight slices and you had the one. Do you think that's why it is called an eighth note? I think so! Oh my goodness. All righty. Excellent. I'm so glad we have a break from the kitchen from cooking all day. Oh, me too. I'm so tired of cooking the pizza and the spaghetti and meat. And the American cheeseburgers? We don't cook American cheeseburgers! Ah. Oh. oh my goodness. Well, while we're on the break, uh, Miss Heidemann, did you know that the Maya last name is Italian? It is. Oh, yes. And in Italian, you would say, Da Dio! Da Dio! Very nice in Italian. Hmm. In American, it would be Dario. 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 That reminds me of a game I know. A game? Do you want to play? I would love to play a it game. It goes like this. It's an, uh, we call, a call and response game. What, kind, what does that mean? That means that I'm going to say or sing something, and you are going to say and sing something else. Okay. So, echo me. Pizza, pizza, daddy-o. Pizza, pizza, daddy-o. Nice. Let's do it again. Okay. Pizza, pizza, daddy-o. Pizza, pizza, daddy-o. One more time. Pizza, pizza, daddy-o. Now your turn. Pizza, pizza, daddy-o. Excellent. Now, this has some footwork with it, too. Footwork on no. Yes. Okay. So everybody stand up nice and tall. You must be standing for this game or it will not work. Good. You are going to jump and cross your feet like this. You are going to open them back up like this. You're going to jump and cross them again like this. You're going to open them back up again like this. And finally, jump and close them like this. Oh, that was very tricky. Let's do it again. Okay, okay. So, we start with a cross like this. We open like this. We cross again like this. We open like this, and we close them like this. Oh, that was a little bit easier. Shall we go faster? I, I think we should try. Ready, here we go. We cross, we open, we cross, we open, we close. Again, ready, go. We cross, we open, we cross, we open, we close. So, with the words, it looks like this. Pizza, pizza, daddy-o. One more time now. Pizza, pizza, daddy-o. One last time, go. Pizza, pizza, daddy-o. Do you think you have it? I think I have it. Now, this is a call and response song. So no matter what I say or sing, you will always do this. <gasps> pizza, pizza, daddy-o. No matter what I say, pizza, pizza, daddy-o. 
I like pizza, 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 daddy-o. And cheeseburgers, pizza, pizza, daddy-o. You've got it. Are you ready to, to play? I think so. Okay. No matter what I say, you do the pizza, pizza, daddy-o with the fancy footwork. Okay, I got my pizza ready. Ready? Let's see. Here we go. Ashley has a new friend, pizza, pizza, daddy-o. How do I know it? Pizza, pizza, daddy-o. Because she told me, pizza, pizza, daddy-o. You got it. Oh, I got it. Let me try it with your name. I'm ready. K as a friend, pizza, pizza, daddy-o. How do I know it? Pizza, pizza, daddy-o. Because she told me, pizza, pizza, daddy-o. Oh, perfect. That makes a lot of sense. You know? I think uh, we might be able to uh, do some actions instead of just a fancy foot to work the whole time because that's what gets me so tired, especially yeah. after all of this uh, cooking. And all of this uh, pizza. All of the pizza. So uh, let's, uh, let's uh, try, uh, you know, we'll do it one more time. I'm ready. How about I start? Uh, yeah, are you going to say they have a friend? What? They. You have a new friend. Oh, yeah, they do have a new friend. Okay. Here we go. You have a new friend. Pizza, pizza, daddy -o. How do we know it? Pizza, pizza, daddy -o. Because you told us. Pizza, pizza, daddy -o. Let's clap it. Pizza, clap it, daddy -o. Let's stomp it. Stomp it, stomp it, daddy -o. Let's wash it. Wash it, wash it, daddy -o. Let's twist it. Twist it, twist it, daddy-o. Let's swim it, swim it, swim it, daddy-o. Let's chicken it, chicken, chicken, daddy-o. Let's kick it, kick it, kick it, daddy-o. Let's hum it, hmm, 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 hmm. Let's clap it, clap it, clap it, daddy-o. Let's end it, end it, end it, daddy-o. Nice job. So, let us know some other actions that we could do other than clap and stomp and swim and chicken. Give us some ideas of actions that we could do. Bye-bye. Ciao. Arrivederci. For our final song, it is going to be a song that you can just listen to. And it is a good Italian song, but not really because it is not in Italian. It is in English, but it has a fun very, very important Italian word in it. Do you know what the, that the word is? Is it uh, meatball? We already sang a song about the meatballs! Is it uh, spaghetti? No, we already sang a song about the spaghetti too. <coughs> well, what is it then? Ah, the word is amore. Amore. Do you know what the amore means? No. Oh, it means uh, love. Love. Oh, yes. And it, this song uh, was uh, made uh, famous by uh, Dean Martin. He is so handsome. Oh, I know. Oh, man. So the song uh, that's amore means that's a uh, love. If I wanted to say, uh, you know, I love a pizza, uh, amo la pizza. Amo la pizza. So if that means I love pizza, then, uh, amo le American cheeseburgers. <laughs> you and your American cheeseburgers. I love American cheeseburgers. I can tell. All righty. Are you all ready to listen to our, our last song? I'm ready. All right. Here we go. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's more.
beautiful. Arrivederci, amici. Goodbye, friends. Bye, friends. Thank you.